Okay, what is going on, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? The AS ACMJ is gamer here. Uh, today we're here with a little bit of a news update. This is a, a re-upload because um, the first video that I did covering this, actually there were several videos that I did uh, that have no audio, and I just realized it the other day. Um, so this is a re-upload. This news did come out, I believe, last week. Yeah, May 12th. Um, so I just wanted to cover it to make sure that it's on my channel, that it's not a surprise, that, you know, I'm not covering this when it first came comes out, or when it was supposed to come out uh, later this year. So without further ado, I'll kind of redo my original video. So this is a tweet from Bethesda. They said, we've made the decision to delay the launches of Redfall and Starfield to the first half of 2023. Uh, the teams at Arcane Austin, Redfall, and Bethesda Game Studios Starfield have incredible ambitions for their games, and we want to ensure that you receive the best, most polished versions of them. We want to thank everyone for their excitement for Redfall and Starfield. Uh, that energy is a huge part of what inspires all of us every day and drives our excitement for what we are creating. We can't wait to share the first deep dive into the gameplay for both Redfall and Starfield soon. Thank you for your support. Now, notice how, number one, they did not commit to a second date because they're launching both games to the first half of 2023 um but notice how they don't give a specific date for either one um that's because they learned their lesson the first time they don't want to put this into a cyberpunk situation where they keep giving a release date and then they keep having to delay the games um so why would they do this at this point um I think it is mainly because there's a possibility that they submitted a video for gameplay. They even say they're gonna they're excited to dive into the gameplay um, soon. Whether or not that's gonna be at this upcoming Xbox um, June conference um, or not, we don't know. My guess is that maybe they saw what they were going to give to the fans and in june at xbox maybe we'll see starfield and if we see the gameplay maybe they're waiting to see what people say maybe get a little bit of feedback and on top of that do whatever they already think needs to be done uh does it suck sure but at the same time we live in a post cyberpunk world I personally had a good time with it. I enjoyed it. I liked the narrative. I did experience some bugs, but none were game-breaking, as everybody says. I really enjoyed the game. I didn't think it was that bad. The problem with reviewers today is that everybody has their own opinions. Everybody has their own uh, gameplay experiences that happened to them. I had a few bugs. I didn't have anything game-breaking. I really liked it. But now, as an industry standard... Cyberpunk is the game you don't want to make. You don't want to be Cyberpunk 2.0. And, um, you know, that that's understandable. So if they want to take more time, and if they want to actually polish and deliver a game to fans that they know they want, hopefully they can make up where CD Projekt Red fell off. In terms of some people's opinions. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But, so we have... Um, I mean, that's one reason, you know, another reason would be uh, all of the leaks that currently um, they, that have come out. I covered one that was um, a former Bethesda employee, um, and he said that they're constantly doing testing, but there's some stuff that needed to be worked on. Um, so it's very possible that they didn't want the gameplay that they're about to show, just in case that gameplay leaked. Maybe they wanted to get ahead of it and say, hey, listen, that's not the final product. We're already, you know, pushing the release date back. I don't know. Um, like I've said, this entire, you know, weird um, intermittent area where we don't really have anything gaming. Um, you know, any type of rumor that comes out is just automatically covered by every news media outlet because they want something to cover. Um, and yesterday, Warner Brothers released a whole host of things. Disney released a whole host of things. We still have Dar uh, Disney Celebration that comes out later this month. Um, but, you know, when Bethesda, when the event comes around, I'll be excited. Um, there is one other bit of news, and it's that Star Wars, um, the Jedi Fallen Order sequel, has a name, supposedly. And the rumor is that it's going to be Jedi... Jesus Christ. 
sorry, that it's uh, going to be Jedi Survivor. Um, that's going to be the uh, the supposed name of the the sequel, and that's really it. Um, that's all the news that I've had in terms of updates, and me just like everybody else, we're all waiting around for June to come through so we can see what Ubisoft has to has to bring to the table, what EA has to bring to the table, what Xbox does, maybe what Sony does. Who knows? But um, until next time, until there's another rumor or you know possibly something, I'll I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.